into our economic position and the prosperity. And as you and as you probably heard, there are a lot of grand ideas, a lot of insights, a lot of information received. Uh, our agencies, of course, are, are, are learning, are listening to <clears throat> these leaders from different types of businesses and entities, and we're going to have a, a number of these meetings to get the to get the facts, get the information to see what the best way is, what we can do to accelerate South Carolina back into our economic position and the prosperity that we were building when the virus came along. Uh, today I issued the uh, another, uh, extended the declaration of emergency. Uh, and as you know, by law, that can last for 15 more days. That's the extent of it. But what that means, what that allows us to do is to access the federal funding, to access, to, to work with FEMA, to get assistance in, well, now it's the tornadoes as well as, as the virus. But that is a, a, a declaration that uh, triggers all of those resources to come into the state. Now, the various parts, the various executive orders that have been issued are uh, consistent with that declaration of emergency are extended automatically by the state of emergency, but that does not mean that they will be extended to the end of the state of emergency. All of those things, the stay at home or work, the rules on restaurants, the closing of the contact services such as barbershops, beauty parlors, those things. When we have the facts, the data, and the information that we need to comfortably change those, we can, and we can do those at any time uh, during this state of emergency. But having uh, the state of emergency declared, as I mentioned, uh, makes us eligible for federal funding, makes it eligible for my ability to suspend regulations of red tape and things that we need to move to get rid of in order to be able to be nimble and quick enough to respond to do the things that you've, you've seen us doing. Uh, we're working diligently to get South Carolina back to work to take us to where we were before and beyond, but we must do so safely. So we have economic, uh, unparalleled in many years economic disruption going on as well as record unemployment claims as well as a very serious disease so we are we need to continue to do the work that we've been doing and with the help of accelerate sc uh, we believe that we'll have more information and confidence to take the steps that are necessary so i'll be glad to answer your questions No, <clears throat> from the beginning, what we took an approach that was 